Your sound blends all kinds of different elements of folk, bluegrass, classical rock. Who are some of your biggest musical inspirations? There are hundreds. We, yeah, we pull from a lot of different, uh, different places. So we have uh, Colton, who's a banjo player. He used to listen to metal all the time. I listen to electronic, and I play the cello in an orchestra earlier. So we have a lot of classical influence. Uh, yeah, it's very eclectic. Uh, we're certainly not dyed in the world bluegrass people. We didn't grow up listening strictly to bluegrass or anything like that. We've kind right. of drawn from a lot of different a lot of different areas. Sure. Uh, like Danny said, I'm a big metalhead myself. <laughs> I love uh, the Black Dahlia Murder, uh, you know, Mashuga bands like that. Weird, weird, crazy stuff. So uh, I'm sure that has had some impact on on uh, you know the parts that I write, the parts that I play. Yeah. Ready? Hey guys, congratulations first. It's great to see you guys in suits. I think <laughs> this is the first time I get a chance to see you guys like this. But you know, when whenever I've interviewed you guys and I put the interviews up on YouTube, it blows my mind the numbers that I get. Do you guys realize how big of an underground hardcore fan base you guys have? And it's not just in Canada, but in the States and around the world, like I get messages say i love these guys i love this sound and they're like in germany and australia like it's it's nuts and what's going on with you guys but again you know it just shows how powerful your music really is thank you it's a lot of fun actually just because there were one video it kind of blew up on uh, reddit and then youtube and just the viral thing that's going on we get messages from serbia it's it's insane we uh, yeah we go over to europe and in eastern germany and just play a lot of shows that are sold out just because uh, how viral everything just goes and how globalized everything is. Um, it's hard to categorize Canadian and American now. It's, um, it's just everywhere. Yeah. Everything is everywhere. It's, yeah. it's scary, but it's, well, <laughs> it's cool if you can uh, kind of ride the wave a little bit. No idea. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I have no idea. Uh, some people think it's green screen. It's not. We were on location, uh, so it took forever to film that video. I threw a hissy fit at the end of the video, and I was like, <laughs> we got to stop filming right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, that's a that's a great question. I'm not I'm not actually sure what it is about that video that that made it uh, take off the way it did. But I mean, we're happy it did. Obviously, I feel like it resonates with a lot of people. Just the outside, instead of being in like a well, I guess we are in a city some of the time. But yeah. Okay, no idea. Yeah. No clue. <laughs> uh, it was Toronto and Regina, and just outside of Regina. Just we think it was probably. Questions, please. Thanks. We think it was probably close to 400 different shots. Yeah. Any other questions? Awesome. Thanks very much, guys. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you.